my friends it is advent day three and i have not done any filming so far today i didn't film yesterday because yesterday was my husband simon's birthday so we were out and about our oven died yesterday and uh we had to go over to his mum's place to bake his cake uh so that was a drama because we had to get all the ingredients together because i'd already put i'd purchased all the ingredients and uh, had to measure all that out and take that all over to my mother-in-law's house and then we booked, uh, bleh, booked a cake baked a cake over there and then pretty much we just hung out for the day we had a little bit of food we went to subway for lunch just something super simple we took Granger with us because uh, Simon and Granger actually share a birthday so uh, yeah they uh, we, we took Granger with us everywhere we went yesterday and uh, we had some burgers for dinner last night. That was Simon's choice. So that was that was yesterday. Today I'm back on my own and I've done a bunch of cleaning. So hence I haven't done much filming this morning. Uh, but I think I'm just about done now. I've just mopped the floors. So I thought I would sit down and have a bit of a knit and a bit of a chat. Because I haven't done a podcast for a really, really long time. So... You guys probably have no idea what I'm I'm doing. I think it's been at least two week, uh, two weeks, two months or so since I've done a podcast. Uh, if you're wondering, what I'm working on here is my uh, slip extravaganza shawl, which is the recent uh, West Knits um, mystery knit along that he hosted, that Stephen West hosted. So I'm just working away on this at the moment. The rows are quite long. <laughs> if you have knit this pattern, you know what I'm talking about. I made the decision today to stick to three stripes on the border because uh, yeah I was looking at other people's projects and, and I decided that I prefer the look of just the three stripes at the end rather than the six uh, so that is what I'm doing I'm currently on my second stripe and yeah so I'm hoping I should be able to get this done pretty soon I get this, get something else off my needles and onto the total for this year's yardage. But yeah, I thought I'd just have a bit of a quiet knit and a bit of a chat and uh, see where we go from there. I believe Simon and I are on our own tonight. The, I think our housemate is working, so it's always nice to get a little bit of um, time alone together. We don't get that too much anymore having having moved in here but that's okay it's for the greater good the way I look at it is we uh, we are making steps towards having our own place and that is kind of what I'm focusing on at the moment I'm really excited at the prospect of having a house that I own that I can stay in for as long as I want and decorate how I want which I'm pretty excited about should be really good we're hoping possibly within the next year to be able to move into our own place which is really exciting because uh, it's something that we honestly had talked ourselves out of that we wouldn't be able to achieve this goal so the fact that we are getting so close to it is actually really exciting that's kind of where our focus has been I've been you know, and where where, I, where that is being said, I have to say I have been a little bit undisciplined of late. Uh, I started collecting plants back in August. So uh, if you guys, you guys have probably seen some of my stories and posts and things from back when that started. And uh, I've since turned one of my uh, secondary uh, Instagram accounts into my plant account and my YouTube account because I'm actually doing plant um, videos on YouTube as well uh, so yeah I've got a, an Instagram for that which is uh, Anne of Julie so A-N-N-E-O-F-J-U-L-I-E -E. uh, so you'll find sort of planty uh, stuff over there and my other YouTube channel is Julianne's Jungle, which I can pop down in the description if you're interested. I've, I've got a few videos up there now. Um, I've got a few more planned uh, for the near future. And 
yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of fun to do something different. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've been all about the yarn for a very, very long time. But, um, yeah, it's, it's I'm, I'm coming and going with the yarn. I think that's why uh, I haven't had a lot of shop updates. I haven't had um, any podcasts. Because I'm, I'm, my motivation to knit is, is, is mostly gone, uh, these days, which is, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel kind of, kind of, I don't know how to describe it. I feel excited in a way, and I know that's going to sound strange, but I, I think now that my love of plants has really come back to the fore because I used to love plants as a kid. Um, I used to love plants too much as a kid and I used to kill them all. Yeah, like getting back into plants and working on my mindset and I I know I've probably spoken about this before but working on uh, trying to have a more minimal, like have a more minimalistic life. Uh, so I'm soon going to be doing a, a bunch of decluttering and uh, minimizing my belongings, getting rid of a bunch of clothes that I just don't wear and uh, all that kind of thing. So that's another thing that's kind of happening that I've been thinking about. I'm trying to read more, spend less time on my phone. I've just today again deleted the Facebook app because I was finding that I was spending far too much time on there looking at my plant groups so <laughs> I figured I really should spend more time doing tangible things doing real things that uh, help me to move forward in life rather than just being stuck on social media uh, especially with so many of the things going on recently Spending too much time on, on social media, especially Facebook, I find Instagram is much more relaxing for me because, I, you know, I find people on Instagram, generally, like, with the people that I follow, people on the whole, like, with just my friends, um, my Yanni friends, uh, it's mostly beauty, really, because, you know, everybody tries to most pretty pictures on their Instagram so yeah I find Instagram is far more relaxing and a more positive experience on the whole. Facebook is a little bit <laughs> overwhelming and often anxiety inducing and if you followed me for any length of time you know that I have mental health issues, I have clinical depression and uh, anxiety. I'm mostly hit with anxiety on the day-to-day -day basis. The depression comes and goes yeah, I'm just trying to keep the anxiety down low, uh, keep myself functioning and just trying to get through what has been a pretty tricky year. I just hope that 2021 is going to be a much better year for everybody. So I have seen some folks uh, posting their Love Bed Lane advent calendars and it's been fun to see everybody's reaction to the yarns. Uh, it is incredibly nerve-wracking to do something like that, to make something that is a mystery and send it out to people and you just hope uh, that it is to people's liking. <laughs> I was having a uh, an Instagram message, I messaged, um, well actually she messaged me first, Karina from Lo uh, Louis and Lola Yarns. Is that the right way around? God, I've just had a complete brain fart. Um, and Karina was saying that she was nervous too. And uh, I, I said to her, I think all we can really do is uh, trust that our customers like it, the way we dye our yarn and that whatever we will make for them, they will like. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of, I think, how we have to get through it. But it is really nerve-wracking because, I mean, it's one thing to dye a colourway and hope that people like it. Uh, and, of course, then people buy it. It's not that it's not sight unseen. They have seen it, they like it, they buy it. Whereas if, when you're sending, you know, a bag of 24 or 25, including the full skein, uh, 25 new colourways to 
people you really really hope that they will like them so yeah it's been been fun I mean it, it's only day three uh, as I said at the top of this um, very rambly pointless conversation so far so good and um, I've enjoyed seeing the posts come up Heidi hi Heidi I have been loving watching her knit um, the pattern that she's doing it's an Amber O'Brien pattern I can't remember the name of the pattern off the top of my head um, but Heidi has been posting every day with the newest uh, mini skein knit into her project so that has been lovely to see because it's always it's one thing to see the yarn but to see it actually knit up is is completely different so that's been really fun uh, to see the projects uh, the project with the yarn knit into it the only other thing is Granger has been to the vet he is obviously he's just turned 11 years old yesterday so he's getting on up there uh, it turns out he has arthritis and so we have to um, get some injections for him to treat the arthritis we uh, currently have him on um, some anti-inflammatories so he's just had his um, initial seven day uh, they suggest to give it to them for seven days and then um, then as needed so uh, it kind of it's it's based on your judgment of how <laughs> how well your dog is doing on the anti-inflammatories which is really hard because Granger is very good at disguising his um, pains I suppose because I didn't even notice that he was in pain to be honest so you know obviously he's slower than he has been before because <laughs> obviously he's getting older so I just assumed it's just getting older and you know he's going to slow down a bit not that he's slowed down that much he's still a pretty energetic dog uh, he's very fit um but yeah, the uh, the vet said no, he's got arthritis, so um, we yeah we need to get some injections for him. But I'm getting pretty thirsty, and I think that's probably really I've talked myself out for the moment. <laughs> I can't think of anything else interesting to say. I mean, probably most of what I've said has been incredibly boring anyway. So <sighs> maybe I should leave it there. I don't really know exactly what we're doing for Christmas, so I can't even really talk about that. I think we're just going to Simon's mum's place. Um, but yeah, that's a couple of weeks away still, so don't need to stress about that too much. But uh, yeah, I guess until I see you either later tonight, if we do anything interesting that I can bring you along with, or maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you then. <laughs> but thanks for listening to my rambly pointless conversation and knitting, knitting along with me hopefully you've got your knitting out and you're knitting along thanks for being there and uh, take care of yourself until I see you again <laughs>